In today's news, we have the community's reaction to Dr. Disrespect changing his Twitter banner and profile picture, indicating that the doc will be returning to streaming very soon. These posts got shared on Reddit with the community's reactions in the following. As Tristing, he still has the links to Midnight Society and Black Steel on there. I've been questioning that since this whole thing went down. Black Steel link doesn't even exist anymore, yet he still has it. 12 AM kicked him out. If Doc clears his name, don't be surprised if a lot of his past associates welcome him back. Sponsors, brands, streamers, YouTube have their own faces to save. None of these brands or people have said they will never support him again. And I know there will be a lot that read this that can't quite grasp this concept at all. Those same people who can't grasp that concept are the people who say, Doc is banned on YouTube, he can't stream if he wanted to. I'm sure he'll be monetized again once he starts streaming. It's my understanding it's a temporary suspension on YouTube's part. Everyone will feel like real idiots if the inappropriate messages be admitted to aren't even sexual in the slightest. Not saying that's the case at all, but I wouldn't be so quick to jump to conclusions either. After all, this could be the most idiotic career suicide publicity stunt on the planet. It's just wild watching them think he's going to come riding in with some kind of redeeming evidence. Release the chat. If he is so innocent, release the chat. Let's see what was inappropriate. Anything short of this proves he doesn't want the content seen and thus cannot possibly make him look any better. His returns to Twitter have also been as big of a dumpster fire as how he handled the allegations and later admittance of his behaviour. What are your guys' thoughts on Dr. Disrespect's return? Or do you think that it will be remonetized on YouTube, Stream, or Stream on Kick? Let me know in the comments. Agent uncovers a conspiracy about Sinner. The first I heard of you was through Dan, the Twitch CEO. Next year, I bump into you, and surprisingly, we get along perfectly. It's almost like they tailored my personality to work with yours. And they knew that we were eventually gonna play some games together and that people would love it. And then Dan Clancy doubles back on his comment at DreamCon. And said, you, you guys, he said, and I quote, you guys argue like a married couple. How long have you known Dan? I can't disclose. Ray learning how to spin kick at a karate class lesson. Well, pivot, pivot first, pivot. Okay, on, okay, let's stay. I like it. Like it? I like it. That's yeah, good. Yeah, let's do shit. <laughs> you good, bro? Oh, got on tailbone. Oh. Why do you? Like all the time.